One of the most common tasks on a computer today is navigating a website. So it is no surprise that JAWS has a variety of commands designed specifically to help a user move around a web page efficiently. In this video, we will demonstrate some of the most common commands and techniques a JAWS user might employ to find their way around a web page. To understand how navigating a web page with a screen reader works, we must first understand the common elements that make up a web page. A web page can be made of several different elements, which include headings, body text, links, graphics, frames, form elements, and more. Let's focus on two of the most common elements, headings and links. Headings are visually represented by large size text and serve as titles or subtitles to various sections of a web page. For example, this Wikipedia article on World War II breaks up the article with headings like chronology, background, and pre-war events. Links are the backbone of the internet. They help you move from one web page to another, and in some cases, from one section of a web page to another. Looking again at the Wikipedia article on World War II, you'll find links to various other related articles throughout the page. Selecting one of these links will take you to the relevant information, whether it be a new web page or a different section on the same page. Now let's see how we can use headings and links to quickly move through this very large Wikipedia page. With our web page fully loaded, we can simply press the H key on the keyboard to move to the first heading on the page. World War II heading level one. Each time we press the H key, JAWS will move to the following heading. Contents heading level two. Chronology heading level two. Background heading level two. Notice how it says heading level one, two, three, through six. The heading levels can be used by the web developer to express the importance of a heading or signify if a heading is part of a subgroup. Think of heading level 1 as a title and heading level 2 as a subtitle, and so on. Once you find the heading you are interested in, you can navigate through the body of the text using the arrow keys or the numpad as you would a written document. Pre-war events heading level 2. Heading level 3 Italian invasion of Ethiopia left parent 1935 right parent. Main article colon. Link second idolo dash Abyssinian war. Link graphics all day Ethiopia dot jpg slash 330 px dash all day Ethiopia. Optionally, you can have JAWS pull a listing of all the headings on the web page by pressing insert plus F6. Heading list dialog. Headings list view. World War 2 colon 1. 1 of 40. To move to items use the arrow keys. You'll be presented with a list of all the web page's headings, and you can navigate with up and down arrow keys to move through the list. When you find a heading you are interested in, press enter to be brought to that section of the web page. Contents colon 2. Chronology colon 2. Enter. Heading level 2 chronology. World War 2 dash Wikipedia. The free encyclopedia. Chronology heading level 2. Pressing insert plus F6 again will bring the headings list back up, and you'll be placed at the current heading you were navigating through in the list. Heading list dialog. Headings list view. Inside the headings list, you will find two radio button menus. Sort heading, which allows you to sort the headings list by the tab order, which is the order they are listed on the web page, or alphabetically. Tab. Sort headings and tab order radio button checked. One of two. And display, which allows you to filter the headings list by their level. Tab. Display all headings radio button checked. One of seven. Display level 1 headings radio button. Display level 2 headings radio button checked. 3 of 7. Using headings is a great way to skim through a web page or jump to an important section. Now, let's take a look at navigating the links on a web page. Pressing tab on the keyboard will move to each link on the web page. Tab. Tab 25 dash pounder link. Tab first battle of El Alamein link. Tab Stuka link. Tab eastern front link. Tab, Linge and Gulf Link. Invasion of Linge and Gulf. Pressing Shift plus Tab will move backwards through the links on the page. Shift Tab, Eastern Front Link. Eastern Shift Tab, Stuka Link. Judge Shift Tab, First Battle of El Alamein Link. To open a link, press Enter on the keyboard. Enter. End.wikipedia.org. First Battle of El Alamein Wikipedia. The Free Encyclopedia. Page has 12 regions, 29 headings, and 716 links. 
In Wikipedia articles, you'll find that some links will take you to new articles, while some links will move you to different sections on the page. To go back to the previous web page, press Alt plus left arrow. Back to World War II Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. Visited link first Battle of El Alamein. Like headings, JAWS can also bring up a list of all the links on the page. To bring up this list, press Insert plus F7. Links list dialog, links list view, first battle of El Alamein, 9 of 3780. To move to items, use the arrow keys. Inside the link list, you can use the up and down arrows to navigate through the list. Stupa, Eastern Front, Link A and Gulf, Wilhelm Kiedel. Press Alt-M to move JAWS to the link, or press Enter to activate the link. Enter. End.wikipedia.org, Mediterranean and Middle East Theater of World War II, heading level 1, page has 12 regions, 25 headings, and 779 links. Also inside the links list, you'll find two radio menus. Links list dialog, links list view, navigation, 1 of 779. To move to items, use the arrow keys. Shift tab, display all links, radio button checked, 1 of 3. To change the selection, press up or down arrow, Alt plus L. Display, which allows you to filter the link list by all links, visited links only, and unvisited links. Shift tab, sort links and tab order radio button checked, one of two. To change the selection, press up or down arrow, alt plus T. You'll also find sort links, which allows you to sort the links in tab order, which is the order that they appear on the page, or alphabetically. Using links to navigate can help you quickly move deeper through websites. For example, on a banking home site, you might be able to quickly find your way to the checking and savings area by bringing up the link list. Simply press insert plus F7 to bring up the links list. Links list dialog, links list view, US Bank, one of 76. To move to items, use the arrow keys. Arrow down through the list of links to you find checking and savings. Personal, small, commercial, mobile, about you, customer, location, espanol, online at checking and savings. And press enter. Enter, new tab page, checking visited link, checking accounts vertical bar, open a personal checking account vertical bar, US Bank, 